Personalized medicine just took a major turn, and the United States and China are now in a quiet but very real race to dominate it. In the U.S., the catalyst was baby KJ, the first child treated with a fully bespoke CRISPR therapy designed specifically for his unique mutation. That case pushed the FDA to publish a new framework called the Plausible Mechanism Pathway. What it means in plain English is this. If a company proves a gene editing or RNA platform works safely across several patients, it can reuse that safety and manufacturing data for future one patient therapies. That's a huge shift from treating every bespoke therapy as a brand new drug. And it opens the door to something that was previously impossible. Actual approvals and insurance reimbursement for personalized N of one medicines. But while the US is moving toward flexibility, China has been sprinting. China ran the world S first CRISPR T-cell trial years ago, and has rapidly expanded gene editing and cell therapy research, backed by national funding and a policy push to build a domestic biotech powerhouse. Its system moves faster, recruits patients more easily, and scales manufacturing at speed. But transparency, long-term safety follow-up, and ethics enforcement remain major question marks. So who's ahead? The US leads in scientific platforms, IP, and global regulatory trust. China leads in speed, trial volume, and national industrial strategy. Both are now converging on the same goal, making bespoke mutation-targeted therapies something you can deploy at scale, not as rare miracles, but as repeatable products. What decides the race isn't hype. It's who can prove these therapies are safe, repeatable, and affordable, and who can build a system that turns personalized edits from one-off experiments into a true medical platform. The winner might shape the entire future of genetic medicine, and the first signs of that future are unfolding right now.